The recently updated non-commissioned officer evaluation report is causing some confusion out in the field. But don't worry, we're here to help. Hi, and welcome to SITREP, Army news that affects you. Army Human Resources Command has been kicking back a lot of NCOERs, so we reached out to them and asked if they could help us help you. Let me tell you, they had a lot of advice, but we've narrowed it down to the top three tips that'll help you adapt and overcome. Now, the most common mistake seen at HRC concerns remarks in the Raiders comment section. That's block I. Old habits are prevailing here as leaders are recommending future schools or promotions. Mm. That's the old way. This space is now for leaders to rate current performance only over the current rating period. Another common mistake is the order that everyone signs the NCOER. The proper order for signatures is Raider, Senior Raider, Rated Soldier, and then if needed, Reviewer. But more common, according to HRC, is a missing signature from the Rated Soldier. Now before you send those NCOERs up, make sure the Rated Soldier has signed it. The last common mistake we're going to cover here is the NCOERs that have counseling dates that are wrong. Counseling dates must be inside the given rating period. And if you gave your Joe no counselings, don't leave it blank. The absence of counselings must be explained in the Senior Rater Narrative, Section 5, Block B. Well, that's all the time we have for today. You can find the complete step-by-step -step guide to the NCOER at the link below. And as always, if you have questions or topic ideas for SITREP, let us know on Facebook or Twitter. Sergeant Martin, signing off.